these ones were uh, recovered because they were pets back in the days. So uh, what I think is we are not sure if we release them in nature, they, they are sur they, they will survive, they will survive. So, yes, that, that is one reason. And uh, of course they, they don't know how to fight or how to defend themselves when, when they find the alpha, so it may be dangerous for them to go back. It's not actually they are not capable to, 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 to get some food, but it may be dangerous because the alphas are very uh, territorial. Uh -huh. So these ones are just males, recovered and kept here just for uh, exhibition for this. Well, good morning again. Today is our last full day on our cruise. And actually, we're not even on the ship very long. We're on here this morning for um, half, but we leave here at eight o'clock this morning. And we will be gone all day. Um, we'll be in town shopping and seeing baby tortoises, planting trees, planting trees, big Dar tortoises, Darwin exhibit, and so. going to a big buffet It'll for lunch. Yes. So, um, and then we'll get back here for dinner. Uh, yesterday was wonderful, and we saw went in the morning to San Cristobal, and we did some shopping. That was our first shopping that we've been able to do. And then in the afternoon, we went to an island where we finally saw red-footed boobies and Nazca boobies. Yes. So a lot of red-footed boobies, mm -hmm. babies. They were they were all over. Yeah. The hike was difficult, though. The climb was difficult. It was very um, natural. Through a through a canyon, basically. Mm -hmm. To get up on top of the mountain. Yes, but then there were lots of red-footed boobies. So that was awesome. And the beach was kind of a green tint. Something about the way that it was formed and crystals in it. But we couldn't see anything because it was overcast. And yeah, they say you need some, you need the sun to be able to really see the crystals. But anyway, we missed that part. But it was still wonderful. The red-footed boobies were everywhere. And today we'll see tortoises. That's our main thing which we haven't seen any of yet. And tomorrow is our day we get off the boat. Lobster tonight. Oh yes, lobster tonight, the last, main dining room. Yes, the last day they get it, they try to get lobster and they said they will. Mm -hmm. So that's it. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. But apparently, 
those males were not interested in those 12 people. <laughs> they couldn't make them uh, mate. So, in that case, we start the famous worldwide search. We're gonna pass by a couple of trees that actually we planted just a couple of months ago. Oh, okay. really? Uh, yeah, previous wow. uh, crews. Look at how big they are now. Wow. Gio, how old are these? The one these ones over here, but three months back. Gio, that we... one's over there, yeah, like in a six, seven months, more or less. And the ones we just came through? Uh -huh. That one, yeah. No, 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 these. Ah, these ones over here, about 10 years, more or less. Okay. Wow. About 10 years. But uh, life expectancy for these trees is really short, 15 years more or less. That is why we just planted like an in a tent vegetation. They come at the same time, but pretty much like a die. And another one comes once more really fast. I told you, you know, this is the uh, best spot to see tortoises in the wild, but your guess, we have many of them. And it's two cats coming in for us. You can see those, perhaps when we pass close, they are going to see that. Uh oh, there is a big guy going in a cruise pit, <laughs> right? It's a, little, it's a little late because we're going to be there soon and we need them. In one uh, spot for pictures, this male. Is that the best table? Is yes, that the best table in the house.
client, for instance, you know, to keep alive on board. And they, you know, were sailing, you know, for months and months in the middle of the ocean. So look, they're move fast. Yeah, speedy. That's pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And definitely, you know, they're looking for shade, right? Otherwise, you know, don't forget their shell is actually, you know, it's, it's, it's black, it's black color. Don't forget, actually, you know, the dark coloration absorb, you know, much easier the heat. And that's one of the reasons that they need to find, you know, all these big trees, the big shades, actually. That's what look yeah. immediately start resting there. and longer nails than the males actually. because you know in every nesting season where they need to you know to lay their eggs so they need to dig you know the little holes very deep it's probably uh 50 uh, centimeters deep more or less uh the females uh giant tortoises actually so they lay just between a 12 and 18 eggs no more than that it's not like a sea turtle see through their nesting on the beach almost 200 eggs right and the 70 percent is infertile right and the 30 percent is truly fertile in this case uh for giant tortoises it's the opposite 70 percent is fertile it's just the 30 percent is infertile in this case mm -hmm. 